This one, you should not make any mistake with. Uh. Okay, they tell you that he poured one fifth of the water from X into Y. And then you fill it to the top. Which means that one fifth of X is equal to that amount of volume in Y. So one fifth of X. Read the question carefully. It says one fifth of the water. So actually not one fifth of X, but one fifth of water in X is, we are looking at the empty space, right? So 15 times 12 times eight, which will give me one, four, four, zero. That is one fifth of the water in X and therefore water in X, you take your one, four, four, zero times five to give me 7,200. CM cube is fine. If you change it to ML, it's also fine, but don't do unnecessary conversions. You should have just left it in CM cube. Ray then pour all the water from X into, uh, from Y into X and 120 CM cube of water overflow. This is 32 cm. Now, number one, understand that the amount of water in the tank did not change. The amount of water in the two tanks rather did not change, the total amount. So you just go ahead and find what is the total amount of water first. You already found the water in X. So you find water in Y at first. Water in Y at first is 15 times 12 times 14. Right? So 2520. And then from here, you can find the total water. Your total amount of water is 2520 plus 7200, which will give you. 9720. Um, Jared, if I yeah. pour from container X to Y, what kind of transfer is that? It's an internal transfer, right? So the total amount of water stays the same. How you want to find the total amount of water doesn't matter. What. If you find 12 times 15 times 22, then you are finding four out of five of the water in X. Wait, uh, uh doesn't the amount change? Because it said 120 uh oh, like of the I, water I have not, overflow. No. I have not reached that part yet. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, I thought you had okay. okay. I have a student asking me why not times 22 cm. You can times 22 cm. But then if you times 22 cm, you must remember to minus off this amount of water that went over. Okay? But the total amount of water will stay the same. That's why I'm finding, since I already have volume in X, then I find volume in Y without the... This is your at first. Okay? So your total amount of water is 9720. If 120 cm cube overflow, it's because the container X cannot contain the amount of water. So you can find the volume of X by subtracting away the amount of water that overflow. The reason why there's an overflow is because the volume of the container is less than the volume of water. How much less? 120 less. And therefore, height of X is 9600 divided by 20 times 15. Okay, how you want to present this, just make sure you are careful. So I will always advise students to actually present it by fraction so that you don't forget the bracket. If you got 32.4, 
if you got 32.4, uh, what did you forget? You long. What did you forget to do if you got 32.4? You forget the minus the 120. But if the water overflow, then the amount of water left in B, left in X, sorry, is 96001. So cannot make the kind of mistake on. For forgetting the minus 120, you lose two marks. <laughs>